Hi, this is Marty Stepniak, Senior Writer for Hospitals and Health Networks Magazine. Rural hospital leaders are faced with critical questions in today's rapidly changing healthcare environment, such as whether to remain independent or pursue a merger. Crisp Regional Medical Center in Cordial, Georgia, has chosen a third option, linking up with a collaboration of 30 community hospitals working together to change healthcare in the Peach State. Today, I'm joined by Steve Gautney, President and CEO of CRISP. Steve, thanks for being with me today. Marty, it's my pleasure. Could you tell me, Steve, a little about the conversations at CRISP uh, that preceded uh, entering into this collaborative with other hospitals around Georgia? I think one of the, the cultural characteristics of, of Georgia, maybe South Georgia, is this, is this desire to, to be independent and to direct our own future. Uh, our community takes a great deal of pride in in, in, in having a say-so in, in the direction of its own health system, its own government. And so uh, as you look at uh, what's happening in healthcare, it seems like it, that's being dominated by mergers among large payers. Uh, uh, Blue Cross, Aetna, all these other insurance companies are merging together. You're seeing large health uh, uh, hospitals merger in metropolitan areas. So uh, to get to the complex, the grow, the, 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 and, and healthcare is growing in its complexity, seems like daily, uh, to get to, to be able to con compete, deliver the kind of quality our community expects, uh, we need to access the, the scale of a larger organization. The, the, the gist of what I'm getting to is that uh, the Stratus Healthcare uh, network, if you will, and we're developing a clinically integrated network, it gives us the, the opportunity to operate in the benefits of a multi-hospital health system, but it doesn't give away the, key, the keys, if you will, to our hospital. It allows our local board to continue to have local control, but it also allows us to have the benefits and scale of a larger health system. What have been some of the barriers to, to this, to you guys entering into this? What are the challenges that you found? Well, when I look at Stratus, we're 30 hospitals, and, it, and our, our region literally spreads from Atlanta all the way down to the Florida border. And so getting all, and, and one of the barriers is, is a lot of our hospitals, we all have independent boards. And so the, the whole idea of the independence is a good thing, but on the other hand, getting 30 entities to all agree on how we're going to operate, the, the amount of conversation that has to go on, it, it's probably taken us five years to get to this point of, of conversations of and learning to trust one another, building a culture around we can share. Uh, some, sometimes within Stratus, we used to be competitors, so we're now understanding how do we work together to assure that we, we go forward. I know it's early yet, but have you, are you starting to see some of the benefits? Or are you starting to see some of the ROI that you would like to have seen from joining this? Or? You know, ROI is, is a great question because it's a little bit mythical so mm -hmm. far. Sometimes the, the, the term I, I think I've heard the consultants tell us to use with our boards is, is it's non-traditional investment. So it, it really becomes a long-term investment. Uh, there, there is ROI in shared savings where you've been able to leverage a purchasing contract uh, or something like that. We, we anticipate that there's going to be significant savings if we're able to put all of our employees into a common employee health plan, kind of a narrow network plan, there's some savings and overhead there. Uh, those are all things that are planned, but we really haven't necessarily gotten to all, all those ROIs for the investments that we're having to put in now. But you ask about what, what are the benefits we've seen. The biggest part of the benefit has been a sharing. Because right now, we, a lot of hospitals, we, we don't, the, 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 the rate that CMS is changing the, the game uh, is much faster than it used to be. So the, the idea that we're going to have share, a knowledge share, sharing uh, or uh, an economies of skill is, is the term that we're using to say that we're, we're learning among as we get together. So you guys have a better metric on this than we do. How did you get there? Uh, and, and just seeing some of that cross, uh, the fact that we're talking about how do we make sure we all have information technology that we can share and aggregate data across the, across the system. Those are all, those are benefits. Can I attach an ROI to them today? Probably not. But there, we feel like there are benefits that are going to come out uh, as we go forward with, with uh, this transformation that we're having in healthcare. Steve, thanks so much for being with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. For HNHN, this has been Marty Stepniak. Thanks for watching.